Hello everybody and thank you for tuning in to today's video. I've been away for a while doing some traveling and some other things but I want to let everybody know that I am back and we are making videos again. In today's video we're actually going to be starting a new series which I'm going to call how to raid and analyze bases in Conan Exiles. Now the goal of this video is going to be to show you if you're new to the game or if you are a veteran the best way to look at bases analyze them for weaknesses and essentially how to break in and get all the loot with the least amount of explosives and work possible i've played a lot of survival games over the years and learned a lot of tips on base building and also how to spot weaknesses so in this new video series i hope to share some of those weaknesses with you so that you can raid better there are a few things you're going to need to have before we start out. Obviously, you're going to need some explosives, whether those are pre-made or whether that's just the dragon powder, tar, and earthenware jugs necessary to make them. You're also going to need a bow and some arrows, which can be easily attained by almost any level player. I would also recommend some climbing gear or steel armor, although those are not necessary. And last but not least, you're going to need some steel weapons as well as steel bars to repair them. I recommend the Ancient Kopesh since it seems to do the quickest damage and it only takes steel bars to repair. Step 1. Identify your target. Typically, when you're roaming around the map in Conan, you will see bases and say, Oh, I'd like to raid that base or that base looks cool to raid. But I often like to look at the overview map as well, because due to recent updates, you can now see which bases hold true names of insert god here. In this case, I've identified a base on the west of the map that has holding a true name of Set. Now that means that somewhere in that base, they have a god summoning token. This does not necessarily mean that the base is full of loot, but it's a good bet. So let's take a walk over there and see what we find. In this case, we've identified a base that appears to be about a 5x6, all tier 3, and quite a few stories high. The very first thing that you want to do when you find a new base to raid is inspect the entire perimeter of the base. Attempt to climb it. Try to peek through the walls and through the doors. You want to look around the base to see if there's any glaring weaknesses. Obviously, you could always go through the front door, but isn't that what the base builders have intended? Most people when they build the base are defending it from the front door in. So it's your job as a raider to look for weaknesses. After climbing around the base a bit, I noticed that there's a fence missing on one of the walls. Let's climb up that and take a look. Just in case you did not already know, in Conan Exiles, your stamina loss when climbing is based on the gear that you're currently wearing not based on your carry weight or anything else. Therefore, if you take off your gear, you actually drain stamina much slower. Climbing gear further mitigates your stamina loss. Well, we can see now that the front door only led to an elevator with another door. So that's definitely going to be a waste of explosives. We also know that the walls are tier 3 foundations, so it's going to take at least 11 or 12 explosives just to get through that outer wall. And we don't know what could be on the other side. However, up here in the ceiling, we've already skipped that whole front wall. So this can be a good bet that this is a good place to break in. Step 2. Gaining access to the loot. Placing explosives is perhaps the most fun part of raiding. Unfortunately, after placing an explosive here, we notice that there's really no way to detonate it nearby without killing or seriously hurting ourselves. So we need to devise a solution. Now obviously, we can just shoot the explosive from one of the nearby cliff sides, but then we have to climb all the way back up the base to place another one. and then run back to the cliff and shoot it. 
This is very time consuming and honestly, people can hear the explosions. There's really no time to waste. I don't know be able to place those up here, but I can. I think this is gonna be. Man, I cannot get to that crap. Um. Maybe I can just build a little foundation to come out here and then. Eureka. Okay, I got an idea. I'll simply build a raid tower nearby, attempt to place the explosives from that raid tower, and then shoot from there. It may take some trial and error to build the raid tower, but just try as many different things as you can, and don't give up. It's like so close. So close. There it is. Got him. Explosives can be a little tricky to place, but you need to remember to be very patient. We're going to be getting in and blowing it up in a lot less time than it took them to build it. Not allowed to repair. There we go. Check that out. Awesome. We have the wall down. Now let's go take a look. Step three. Collecting the loot and getting away safely. Okay, we're in. It's tempting to immediately start breaking things as soon as you enter the base. But it turns out that's not actually the best strategy, because once you bust open that furnace or that heavy chest, you might find yourself weighed down and unable to loot the rest of the base effectively. All right, yeah, so this is the door that we saw on the outside where the airlock is. So we completely skip that by just getting a vulnerability. Look at this. Instead, do your best to inspect all of the visible parts of the base. You can see here that in this base, they have an elevator leading directly to the next floor with no stop gaps or doorways in the way. Very poor base design because it gives us access to all of their loot with only spending the explosives we use to enter in the side of the base. Let me think, let me think, let me think. That goes up. There's probably not anything under here. Oh. Look at that, there's more shit. Oh my god. Let's hit the jackpot. After spending some time inspecting the base, I deduce that the best strategy here will be to start at the bottom and use the elevators to travel to the top. From there, it's fairly straightforward. Kill the sleepers, collect all their loot, Break open all furnaces, armor's bench, carpenter's benches, and heavy chests while repairing your Kopesh along the way. Sometimes loot bags can bug out when you try to open them. That loot just disappeared too! So it's best to just hit the loot all button and then drop the things afterwards that you do not need. You're going to be overburdened no matter how you look at it, so you might as well pick up everything and after you're done, drop it all. I'm like, my inventory is so full, there's like a delay when I press it. Uh-huh. Hold on. Looking. Bunch of rhino heads. Oh my god, there's a true name of Set in here! Remember when we saw on the map that this base had a true name of Set? That's why we targeted it in the first place. Again, a poor move on their part. I choose to throw away this true name of set, one because gods are disabled on this particular server, and two because it would draw attention to my base. Alright, we got everything. Once you've killed all the sleepers, knocked out their beds, and gotten all the loot from the base, it's time to make your escape. Step 4. Escape without leaving a trace. 
You may have noticed at the beginning of the video that I dropped a bedroll nearby just in case I died. I want to make sure that I pick that up so that the people who do live here will not know who I am or what clan I'm in. I also make sure to dismantle the foundation and ceilings that I use to place the explosives. Thank you for watching part one of how to raid and analyze bases in Conan Exiles. I do hope that you learned something from this video. Feel free to mention in the comments below what you learned or if you have any questions, I'm more than happy to answer. Also, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. And stay tuned for part two of how to raid and analyze bases in Conan Exiles. If you'd like to watch these raids being done live, we do stream over at twitch.tv slash fxkiller. A link will be provided in the comments. See you soon.